Every great city has its fashionable walking street lined with boutiques, art galleries, and other specialty stores. Rodeo Drive in Los Angeles, Rue de Faubourg saint honore in Paris, and Yorkville Avenue in Toronto. Yorkville's epicenter is the Hazelton Hotel. The Ontario capital city's first five-star hotel and ground zero for Toronto International Film Festival parties in September, where one may bump into celebrity guests such as Brad Pitt and George Clooney. After entering the luxurious yet contemporary lobby by Toronto designers and Interior Design Hall of Fame members Yabu Pushelberg, a private elevator ascends into another world, one that is unexpected, though heartily welcome in the heart of a great North American city. The elevator opens directly onto a great room, framed by graceful fluted pilasters that epitomize the serenely noble mood of the residence's public rooms. The nine-room, five-fireplace, 6,297-square-foot suite occupies the space formed by two conjoined corner suites. Taking up half the seventh floor, its six terraces offer dramatic views to the north, west, and south, but the interior vistas are perhaps even more spectacular. A warm, Orient mellowness, as in orium Latin for gold, suffuses the suite with a subtly modulated palette of warm tones, cherry and rare myrtle pearl paneling, ranging from reddish brown to honey nougat, bronze and cut crystal chandeliers, gold leaf embellished cornices, and marble floors and baseboards. The vocabulary of Italian Renaissance and Baroque-inspired forms, finishes, and materials executed with transcendent attention to detail and quality by fine craftsmen in Italy and assembled here with commensurate care may sound like an opulent, heady mix. And indeed the residence is a formal showcase for smart dinners and cocktail parties. Yet the design avoids slavish imitation of the past. Its classical elements have been stripped down abstracted and simplified and in a word modernized so that the decor never appears overly rich or elaborate everything is grand and impressive yet comfortable and easy to live with moreover these classical elements have been deployed with a disciplined consistent design vision throughout the residence that is all of a piece with details subtly varied in accordance with each room's function the colors and patterns create a theme for the entire suite, rather than each room telling its own separate story. Don't bother shopping for area rugs. In the tradition of noble Italian houses, the floors are paved in creamy, subtly veined statuarial marble with breathtaking inlaid polychrome marble figures, such as diamonds, curtain swags, and acanthus leaves derived from Corinthian column capitals all painstakingly worked out in Imperato Dark, Crema Marfil, Nero Marchino, and Verde Antico Marble. The motifs evoke the marble intarsia, colored stones inlaid in black or white marble of Baroque Rome, St. Peter's Basilica being the best known example, though updated for the 21st century and domestically scaled, breaking with the infelicitous tradition of cold marble floors in those Italian palazzos. However, this suite boasts underfloor radiant heating. Another common denominator of all the rooms and characteristic of the suite's overarching design consistency are the inlaid marble patterns reflected in the plaster moldings directly overhead and the otherwise simple white nine-foot high ceilings. Another feature throughout is the luxurious window treatment of shears directly in front of the full-height glazed outer walls, covered by heavy silk drapes, valances and tiebacks with swags and tassels, all coordinated with each room's wood-paneled walls or full silk wallpaper. The elevator has a rear door that opens directly onto the private area of the suite. The focal point of the master bedroom is the imposing button-tufted headboard, framed by gold-leaf ornamented pilasters. Each ensuite in the four bedrooms has 24-karat gold-plated taps and spouts, 
cut crystal faucet handles, towel bars and hooks, and gold-plated sconces. The master bedrooms, his and hers en-suites, furthermore have inset marble niches in the bathing area that hark back to the rainwater fountains that would fill a wash basin or bathtub in Baroque palaces. Closet cabinets are fronted with ornamental scrolls sandblasted into translucent glass panels. And note another Italian Baroque influence. The vanity in the his ensuite is built-in furniture instead of a North American style freestanding vanity with a cavity for a sink insert. The eat-in kitchen's bold black and silver finishes break with the prevailing golden color palette. The black paneling with silver-plated egg and dart molding continues as the fronts for the two sub-zero refrigerators with freezers ergonomically mounted below rather than above the refrigerator section and the Miele dishwasher. Built-ins include a professional-grade Wolf gas range with barbecue and griddle, Miele coffee maker and microwave, Thermidor warming tray, articulating Kohler carbon faucet, and concealed drying racks located to let water drip down to the sink. Cabinet doors have beveled diamond-shaped inserts. Drawers have poles inset with Swarovski crystal. A fruit motif, executed in gold leaf, sandwiched between two sheets of glass, fills the upper panel of the doors that lead from the kitchen to the dining room and family room. There, the aya lights on the fireplace flanked by classic Greco-Roman Alantes, sculptured male figures serving as an ornamental support in place of a column or pilaster. Making for a luxurious, elegant man cave is the masculine library with its deeply coffered wood panel ceiling. Built-ins here include red velvet lined display cases with recessed lighting, door fronts that discreetly conceal hanging file drawers, and a fireplace with an antique mantle. Adjacent sits the climate-controlled wine cellar and cigar humidor. The last word goes to the Hazelton Hotel's panoply of five-star amenities, including concierge, 24-hour room and housekeeping service, gym, swimming pool, spa, and celebrity chef Mark McEwen's One Restaurant. Finally, the four permanent spaces in the parking garage seal the deal.